Photos, the trusty sidekick to the camera app, has gotten a similar update. You have all your photos now, but they're intelligently sorted by area and by time, so that you no longer have that incredibly long list of photos that you have to sort through. Uh, this is called the moments view. You can go back even further to the collections view that gives you even larger groups of photos, again, sorted by time and by location. And if you want to, you can go all the way back to years. Now these photos might look far too small to handle, but you can tap and hold your finger on them and quickly scrub through to find sort of the right photo that you want. And when you do find that photo, it'll pop up immediately for you. It's on the white background here. If you tap the photo, it'll get a full screen version, landscape or portrait. You can zoom in or out. You also have the editing tools you had before, including rotation, uh, auto enhance. You also have the new filters as well, which are identical to the camera filters and let you quickly choose from one of several subtle effects to apply to your photo. Uh, then, of course, you still have red eye removal and you have the crop. You can still, if you want to, get to your iCloud photo stream, which has been improved because now anyone can share to a shared photo stream and you can also include video in them. And you still have your trusty old albums if that is you know, absolutely where you want to go. And that is the new Photos app in iOS 7.